Hello, my name is Silvia. As some of you might already know, the Medical Image Segmentation Toolset, or ISEG, is now available as an open source software. ISEG is a really powerful tool to generate computational anatomical 3D phantoms from various types of imaging data. I tested many alternative softwares, but ISEG became my favorite toolbox and is the only one I use to create the virtual population models here at the ETIS Foundation. In this short video, I would like to demonstrate how easily a detailed model is created from a set of DICOM images. First of all, we need to import the DICOM images. In order to follow this tutorial step by step, please download the CT data from the Zurich MacTech website and unzip them. To open the CT images in ISEC, go to File, Open and Open DICOM. Navigate and select all the images you want to segment. In this tutorial, we will use slices 156 to 355. First, we need to add a set of tissues that we will be working with. Tissues can be added at any stage of the segmentation. Tissues can be added one by one directly in the tissue tab. To add a new tissue in this way, click on new tissue, name the tissue and select a color. We will need the following tissues for this tutorial. Heart, lung, muscle, bone, fat, large intestine, skin, and also background and the support. Isaac will always open the latest tissue list that has been used. You can save and export the tissue list that you are using. Alternatively, rather than adding tissue one by one, you can import a predefined tissue list which is especially useful if you are working with a large number of tissues. In ISEC, we work with two separate viewers that display the source and the target image. Source and target simultaneously act as interfaces for the user's point, click and draw operations. In this step, we are going to use the thresholding tool to segment the whole body and the structure below the body which is the support on which the patient was lying during the CT examination. In this step, we are going to use the manual threshold option. By moving the slider to the desired position or by entering a specific value, we are manually setting the threshold value that we will later apply. We are going to apply to all slices and then press the execute button. Now we need to assign our threshold to a specific tissue. In this case, the tissue called FAT. To do this, we use the other function. With the other buttons, regions with the same gray level in the target can be added or removed from the tissue distribution. The single plus button allows to add a region to the currently selected tissue by clicking on the target image. And to apply this operation not only to the currently displayed slice, but to all regions of the target that have the same gray value, we also enable the 3D option here. We click on the plus button and on the target and we can see that now everything is assigned to FAT. If we now want to remove the support from the segmentation, we can perform a similar operation using the minus button, which subtracts regions from the tissue distribution. In this case, we will also enable the connect option, which restricts the adding and subtracting to the regions connected to the selected point. Other regions with the same gray value in the target image will not be influenced by the operation. If we now get the tissue, we can see that the support is not anymore included in the segmentation. If we now display the tissue distribution of fat, we can see that the whole body is assigned to fat, except for these regions along the border. To remove the holes along the border of the body, we can use the Morpho tool. We will use this function with the Close option enabled. The Close function first delays the selected region and then erodes them. As a consequence, holes in the regions are removed. Afterwards, also in this case, we will reassign the tissue to fat. We can now see that the whole body is segmented as fat. After the whole body is segmented as fat, we are going to add an outer protective layer outside the body. This background tissue will be helpful in the later steps. To add this tissue, 
We first lock the tissue, fat, by checking the box next to the lock symbol and with the other we add the background around the body. Since now the background is black and we cannot clearly see, we can modify the tissue, for example by changing the color. And we can now clearly see that we have added the background. And that's it for this short introduction. In the next video we will take a further look at the thresholding and smoothing tools. ISEG was originally developed for ZMT simulation platform sim for life I think it is very generous of ZMT to open the source code such that it can be further developed by its users. I hope that other people will find it as useful as I do to generate 3D standard phantoms or models of patients. Thank you for watching and I hope you are enjoying working with this nice tool.